Roses. Ariel, you are on War of the Roses. Why do you think your boyfriend Paul is cheating on you? Oh, gosh. Well, he used to date this girl that he worked with. He's a barista, and he had to transfer stores because his ex was super clingy, and it just made working with her very difficult after they broke up. But a friend of mine, she was at the old store the other day, and she saw him with his ex, and they were sitting down having coffee, and... They look really cozy, and I just, I think that they're back, getting back together, and he's just not telling me. Has he been different in your relationship? He's been a little different, and I'm getting a vibe from him, and I just, I, I hope that you guys can help me figure it out. The, uh, the friend that saw them, uh, did she confront him at all, or did she take a picture to send to you? Like, are you just getting that information secondhand? Because sometimes that makes me nervous. That maybe the friend's got a a whole a, agenda. agenda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, she's really loyal. She did not take a picture, but she, I trust her with my life. I just, I have this bad feeling, guys. Sounds like a case of War of the Roses. You're exactly. Uh, this is exactly what you need. We'll find out who he sends the romantic roses to. Don't say anything to we find out who he sends them to. And then, Roy, we always like what's on the note because we think that's important about what they're doing, what they're up to, okay? Okay. Hello? Hey, I'm looking for Paul. Yeah, it's, it's him. Hi, Paul. My name is Lisa. I'm calling from Flowers for You. We are a romantic gift company, and we have a rewards program where if someone buys a dozen roses, they get to send a dozen roses to someone else and one of your friends bought them and they recommended you to get the other dozen. Oh man, that's, that's, I, I never win anything. My <laughs> well, friends never order flowers either. <laughs> well, it's not really a prize, but it is, like I said, a rewards program and I do have a beautiful dozen red roses. They're very romantic for you to send to the one that you love. I don't have to buy anything for it. It's just Nope, I don't need. Kind of I don't need any of your information. Just whoever you'd like to send them to, and I also have a note here that you can write something on. It is a romantic note. Um, all right. Okay, so um, who would you like to send these to? Um, um, I'll send them to, to Hillary. Okay, to Hillary. And what would you like me to write on the card? Uh, man, I don't know. Um. Just like something short, sweet, like. Well, maybe I can help you with it. Uh, how do you know Hillary? Like, how are you guys romantic? Yeah, we're, we're kind of off again, on again. So we're we're kind of on right now. So okay, um, you can you can say something like uh, "Enjoy these, my love." Okay. Is that too corny? Is that corny? Oh, Paul. Oh, you made me so mad. Oh. May the heat from this candle bring your soul down to the deepest, darkest place. May the dogs of evil lay upon oh, your chest and fire. What is happening? Soul. Oh, man, what's going on? Uh, uh, I'm not sure either, but I do know that this is the Manny Roy and the Red Morning Show. Paul, you are on War of the Roses. Your girlfriend, Ariel, who just said, <laughs> chanted something. What was that, Ariel? Ariel. That- was something that was very you special to-, to me. That is my religion. That is my religious belief. And Paul knows what it is. That is not a religion. Paul- Don't start that witch yes, crap. Yes, Crap. Oh, well, Ariel. Which What's crap? happening? What's happening? She goes, <sighs> okay, first of all, this ain't cool to trick me like this and trap me. And second of all, you need to stop with this, this wicked BS. Let the hurt you cause me and mine be bound round like them like Ivy's vine. When they lay them down to sleep, may nightmares stalk and waking weep until the day their conscience is. They tell the truth for all to hear. So you're putting a spell on Paul right now? Is that what ha- is that that's what's going on? I'm making sure that he no, never she's does not. this she's not to anyone doing again. Does it work over the phone? I am so confused. She's rambling. That's what she's doing. She's Okay, so Ariel Ariel is a Wiccan. You clearly yeah. have something for Hillary. You sent her a note and enjoy these, my love. You cheated, whatever. Are you Fine. not with Ariel? First of all, we're not like totally together. It's, it's, her name's not even Ariel; it's Sandra. Ariel is like some kind of 
to pick which name she picked. <laughs> no, um, my name is Ariel, Paul. <laughs> no, it's you know Sandra. that. When I met you, your name was Sandra. Your mom called you Sandra. Your oh mom gosh. doesn't call you a Ariel. My mother does not understand me. Paul, you have a thing for Hillary, correct? Yeah. So you're breaking up with Ariel. It's it's over, right? There's no relationship? I, if she starts with this wicked crap, I don't know how we can progress. Okay. Ariel, the spell that you just put on your boyfriend, Paul, what's going to happen to him? Yeah, what's going to happen to me, Ariel? Tell me. You're going to be bound forever in hurt and pain like you caused me. The sun will burst into flames, and you are not going to be able to to go out into the world and feel any sort of happiness. You will never be able to smile. Dogs will bark at you. Children will run blah, away from blah, you. Blah, Your family blah. will be you. Am I going to you. a frog, dude? You will never I'm find a frog. Love. I'm hanging up on him. Okay, I let go of Paul because I'm totally enthralled with the Wiccan thing, Roy. You really think you're putting spells on Paul, Ariel? Is that, what, is that what's happening? I'm definitely putting spells on him. Okay. Well, now you He's know a you terrible ha person. He hurt me. He deserved it. All right. Well, now you know where you stand. The relationship's over. I'm going to create a spell for myself so I can feel love again very oh. soon. Right now, I'm hurt. I didn't I'm know you can create. I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to take a quiet moment. Then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to put myself back into the world again. Okay. Thanks, Ariel. I'm glad we can help. Thank you. Want more War of the Roses? Listen to them on demand anytime using the Kiss 95.1 app or Amazon Alexa.